Hey everybody, it's been a while, so we are headed to Walmart to stock up on the groceries that we need as mostly carnivore people. We have to pass right by these delicious goodies at the bakery at the front, but they're really not a big temptation to us. We mostly stay away from seafood, but we do always start our shopping haul by going to the ground beef section. Walmart has pretty good prices, and sometimes they have even better deals if you can buy a three pound pack of ground beef all together and save a couple bucks that way. We really like this particular one here. There's a Wagyu beef patty burger that we like, and we also like this organic one here that usually comes in green foil. It's by the brand Market Side, which I think is Walmart's brand. We got 85.15 if you're wondering about the lean. They do have other less expensive options for ground beef, some that's even already pattied out in burgers. We tend to skip those though, just because they don't always have information about how they were raised or grown, but for a person doing carnivore on a budget, this would be a perfectly fine option. I head straight next to look at their steaks. Walmart doesn't always have the best prices on steaks, but I have so far actually found that the quality of the meat tastes pretty good. So if I can find a steak that I think is a good price, I'll just go ahead and get it. This New York strip was 0.9 of a pound and $11.37, and it just really spoke to me. I got it, that's what I had for lunch this particular day. I believe this is beef intestines, which is something I really want to try, but Michael is still on the camp of hell no. More steaks. They were all just really looking so good this day, and I kind of wanted to buy all of them, but they weren't all exactly the best prices, so I only bought the one. Next, we're going through the pork section, which we usually skip. Michael doesn't really like pork. I do like the occasional pork chop, but I don't make them often. As far as the chicken section, we uh, prefer to eat beef, although we do get some chicken. Uh, the ground chicken is something we make for Abra almost constantly. She really loves ground chicken. Uh, this particular Walmart trip though, we had decided to buy chicken breasts and cook them for her. So we've skipped it this time, but normally we would grab some of that ground chicken or maybe ground turkey. Here's a brand of bacon that we like. It's by the brand Hormel. These are thick cut slices and they are nitrite free. We do like this brand a lot. Like I mentioned, normally we would have gotten ground chicken or ground turkey for Abra's meals, but on this particular Walmart trip, we were about to leave on a two week vacation, leaving her with Michael's mom as a babysitter. And we thought this would be an easier option, but man, chicken breasts have sure gone up. This five pound bag was $15. Both of us absolutely love these Butterball all-natural turkey breast sausage links. Michael makes them for breakfast for dinner pretty regularly, and I put them in my eggs sometimes in the morning for breakfast, so we love these. They're great. Sometimes the hot dogs we like are kind of hard to find. The brand we are looking for is called Applegate Naturals, and it's a natural, uncured beef hot dogs, no antibiotics, 100% grass-fed. We love these hot dogs and they're a pretty common staple, or as Michael says, they're a side, <laughs> a, a food we make on the side to go with our meals. Another Hormel item we like a lot, these pepperonis. This is what Michael uses to make his pizzas almost every day. Finding a shredded cheese that does not have carrageenan in it can be really tricky. Um, we are not completely opposed to carrageenan, but we do try, if at all possible, to not have it in our foods. Right now, the only one that we can find that doesn't have it at this Walmart is this organic great value shredded sharp cheddar. Also beware of potato starch. It's really not easy. We'll find one that doesn't have carrageenan or doesn't have potato starch and it'll have carob gum. Again, these are things that we try to eliminate. It's not always possible and sometimes we just have to get the best of what we have. There is one brand of cheese that comes in a very large bag. I forgot the name of it. You can find it at some Walmarts. It's got like a little lady on it. Um, but it actually doesn't cook very well. It won't melt down. It gets real clumpy. So we just do the best we can and try to find one that's just mostly clean ingredients. This Cabot brand farmhouse reserve cheddar is a must have almost daily staple for us. If you've watched any of our videos, you'll know that we are big fans of this Gordo's cheese. Uh, the one that comes in the yellow packaging, um, it has a few more things like tomatoes and peppers in it because it's got sort of a fiesta flavor. I prefer just the plain version, the Gordo's cheese dip that has the blue lid. I think Michael probably would say he prefers the other one. <laughs> The ingredients are not terrible and it really goes good dipping our hot dogs, our sausage, burgers, whatever. We like to just dip it right on down in here. We love this stuff. 
Also big fans of the Old Crock Extra Sharp Cheddar. Sour cream is a must. I put it in my scrambled eggs almost every day and Michael loves taco meat. You can't have taco meat without sour cream. I had to literally climb up there to reach the super creamer that Michael uses in his coffee. It is carrageenan free. We also use heavy whipping cream. I go on a heavy whipping cream every once in a while where I want to put it in everything I eat. Boy, I am glad to see that the price of eggs has come down because we go through a lot of eggs in this house. I eat three every single morning, sometimes four, so there's at least 21 eggs a week for me alone. And then Michael is a big fan of breakfast for dinner, and he has eight or ten at a time when he does that. So that's for him maybe once or twice a week. So we do go through quite a lot of eggs. This 18 count was uh, $1.80, so that was a steal. We got two of them. We are big fans of pork rinds in this house. Our absolute favorites are by the brand Max, and you gotta find the one in the green packaging that says Cracklins. Uh, they are fried in their own fat, so there's no nasty oils in them. Although we noticed at this Walmart, the price has gone up on these. That's a bit of a bummer. Tell me you live in Florida without telling me you live in Florida. Jerky is a wild card because most of it has a lot of sugar and some other nasty ingredients in it, but we do like these Tillamook brand Zero Sugar Originals. We always check out the keto snacks if we see one that catches our eye even though we don't buy them. I am not animal based and Michael is only animal based occasionally. Um, so this one had some things in it that we would not eat, but still it actually didn't look to be terrible other than the fact that I saw peanut oil. But hey, I mean, if you're making steps in the right direction, this would probably be a good place to start. And Michael, he absolutely loves chewing gum. He says he needs a flavor sometimes in his life. So this was his favorite. On this shopping trip, we did not actually need honey, but we just happened to walk through the honey aisle and I always check it out just to see if there's anything I haven't noticed before. But my favorite brand of honey that we can buy locally down here at this Walmart is by Be Natural, the wildflower. Michael absolutely loves peanut butter and he wanted to be sure he got this on camera. This is a brand that he likes by Wild Friends. It's just classic creamy peanut butter and the only ingredient is peanuts. Siete is a brand that we really like. They make chips and cookies and seasonings. We had not been able to find it before at this Walmart, but we grabbed one of each of these taco seasonings. Michael needed Dijon and mayo to make a honey mustard dip that he wanted to dip his food in this next week. So we are showing you here which mayonnaise and which Dijon mustard that we trust. They are made with avocado oil. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about avocado oil anymore, but for now we are continuing to eat these. And Tapatio, who doesn't love Tapatio? Fun fact, analog clocks are always set to about 10.10. All right, now we were done shopping. We picked up a couple extra things that I didn't show in this haul because they weren't grocery related, laundry detergent and cleaning supplies, etc. But I am really picky about how I like the bags to be packed so that they make it home safely and they're easy to unload. So Michael always lets me do all of the scanning and packing. Uh, the grand total for everything we bought came out to $278.96 and that will wrap up our grocery haul. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed shopping with us and I will see you again in another adventure just as soon as I can. Have a great week.